good morning students it's five o'clock in the morning and i just wake up now and i thought to create a video for you guys in this video i'm going to talk about what happened when i studied english literature for 350 hours for beginning i want to show you my past progress and how i studied 350 hours i always use mobile phones to track my progress how much hours i'm studying every month so in the month of february i studied 2000 minutes you can see the amount of time i remained focused in the month of february so this is the mobile app and uh, you can see here 2257 around 2000 minutes i remained focused in the month of february in the month of march i remained around 6711 minutes in the month of april i remained focused for 6611 minutes in the month of may i remained focused around 5196 minutes 5196 minutes in the month of june I remained focused around 2700 minutes this is a mobile app named forest this mobile app is available on play store i always use this mobile app while studying english literature according to my progress like in the month of february march april may and june i studied around 20000 minutes resulting in 350 hours 15 days in the month of February followed by the complete months of March, April, May and the 15 days of June. So I studied for 350 hours in these 4 or 5 months. What I want you to understand is that I am regularly studying 3 hours every day without thinking of any results whether I am going to clear the net examination or gate examination or not. I'm just doing my work as if it's my religion. I wake up 5 o'clock in the morning and I start studying English literature for 2 to 3 hours every day. One fundamental thing I have found in my life is that hard work is a myth. People always say that you should always do hard work in order to achieve something in life. Hard work does not exist in reality. People who have achieved big are not the people who have done hard work. But the people who remain consistent for over a long period of time have achieved everything in their life. So I don't believe in the concept of working hard. I believe in the concept of consistency. I am a big fan of consistency. Consistency helped me to create career out of my passion. It's been seven years that I have been working as a writer. I have worked as a writer for so many businesses, startups and online magazines. At the age of 20, I published my first book titled Superhuman in You. The book went well and established my credibility as an author in the publishing field. You see, every successful writer has followed some kind of routine. Ernest Hemingway used to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And he used to write something for the next couple of hours just after waking up early in the morning. Maya Angelou starts writing at 6.30 am every morning. Haruki Murakami wakes up at 4 am and writes for 4 to 5 hours every morning. And then he goes on to follow an exercise routine which includes 10 km of running every day. So you see hard work does not matter, the thing only matters is consistency. If you are preparing for net examination or gate examination, I suggest you not to work so hard that you start hating the subject English literature. The subject English literature should not become a burden on you. The subject must help your mind to go on another level of creativity, greatness and discipline in life. From this day on you should decide that you are going to study for 3 hours every day without thinking about the examination and results. If you are going to study for 6 hours or 7 hours every day, you are going to get exhausted very soon. But if you remain consistent and take small steps every day, you are going to achieve your goal without any hard work and disappointment. So your work must be like of a tortoise, not like of a rabbit. I think you must have heard about this fable by Aesop. The moral of this rabbit and tortoise story is slow and steady wins the race. So keep all these things in mind and build a routine that will help you become more disciplined in your life. So that's it for this video. If you are new to this channel and watching these videos for the very first time, I recommend you to watch all my previous videos. And before leaving, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more such videos. If you have any queries, drop your questions in the comments below. I will try to solve all your doubts in my upcoming videos. Thank you.